Hello everyone, this is Navin Reddy from Telescope Learnings. In this video, we'll talk about interfaces. Now, what is interface? So, interface is a block, same like abstract class, but difference is in interface, every method will be abstract. Okay, you cannot have a defined method in interface. So, let me let me create an interface here. So, how to get interface? We have to mention interface, and so that's a keyword we have to use, and we have to we have to provide an interface name. So I will say this interface name as maybe uh, what to use here. Let's say we'll say a PC. Okay. Let's let make it let's keep it simple. Let's say ABC. So we have an interface which is ABC here. And in this ABC interface, we need to have some methods. Okay, so let's say the method name is public or void show. So by default, this method is public and abstract. So every method in your interface will be public abstract. Now since by default it is public abstract, we don't have to mention this, right? Now I, I want to create I want to create an instance of this ABC which will call show, okay? Because in order to call show, we need to create an instance, right? Because this is not non-static method. Now how to instantiate ABC? Now to instantiate ABC, can we say ABC OBJ equal to new ABC? Now unfortunately you cannot create a instance of ABC is because ABC is an abstract, right? So you can see there's an error here. So ABC is a uh, interface and you can see there's an error here which says, which is ABC is abstract, cannot be instantiated. So in order, to instantiate ABC, we need to provide the implementation. Since in this we don't have implementation for ABC, so we'll create a new class and we'll name this class as uh, my implement. I will say ABC implement. So we have a class which is ABC implement. Now this class needs to implement ABC. Okay, so whenever you want to uh, instantiate our interface, we need to create a different class which will implement your interface. Now you can see there's an error here which says ABC impl is not abstract and does not override abstract method show. That means in order to implement an interface, we need to define or we need to implement a method which is show here. So we need to define all the methods which is declared. So we have to say public void show and we can provide any implementation here we can write any statement we'll say in show just for the example so we're writing in show so we have a class which is abc impl which implements abc and we have a method called as show which prints in show simple so I, we cannot create a object of abc but we can create a object of abc impl because abc impl is a class okay now we can use a reference type of ABC is because ABC impl, which is this, implements ABC. So we can create a reference of interface and we can create a object of a class. Simple and then we can using this OBJ, we can call show. Simple. Now there's one more advantage of using interface. Even if you have multiple interfaces, like say we have one more interface which is PQR, and in this PQR, we are defining a method with, let's say, method ABC or not ABC, let's say XYZ. So we have some methods here. We can use XYZ here also, which is multiple inheritance. Right? So let me remove that part. Okay. So we have uh, interface ABC and we have a class which is ABC impl, which implements ABC. Let's run this code just to check if it's working or not. Let me run this code and you can see it prints in show. So that's one way you can create an object of an interface or you can instantiate an interface. So we have to create a class which implements an interface and we can just create the object. Now what if we have, uh, let's say we have, do we have any other way of doing this? The thing is, the, the sole purpose of this class is just to implement ABC or just to implement the interface. Other than that, we are, we, are, we, are not, we are not going to use this class in any of the example. So what we can do is we can just 
remove this class but will it work now since I don't have a class I cannot instantiate this right so let's go back to this can I you can I instantiate now of course not because ABC doesn't have it doesn't have the implementation now there are two ways of creating an creating an object one way is called as uh, what you say invention and the second way is called as discovery now always imagine th things around you so let's talk about a mobile phone so what is mobile phone it's an invention right so it's an object which is created from a class so someone ha have thought about a mobile phone he has implemented a concept on that concept we have an object so that means we, we have first created the class of mobile and then we are creating object what about laptop the same case right we have to first create a class for laptop and then we can create an object but let's say you're talking about this uh, dinosaurs skeleton or different animals so these animals are not created by humans they are already present we are discovering them right so we are creating new objects but not by inventing them by discovering them in the same way this ABC initially when you create a class we always create a class and then create an object but in this scenario I will not create a class first I will create an object and then I will provide the implementation for this class so this is like first creating the object and then providing the implementation so that is that's for me is discovery okay these are not official terms don't take these terms to your college or to your school it's just for my reference so let's create the implementation so imagine this block here is the class okay so whenever you provide the implementation it becomes a class right now this class doesn't have a name and that's why this type of classes are called as anonymous classes uh, now let pro let's provide the implementation so we'll say public void show okay so we have provided the implementation here let me just give a proper brackets and in this I will print let, let's say in show clear so you can see I have I'm not implementing any class okay it's just we are creating an interface and then directly we are instantiating it by using anonymous inner class so we can provide our definition here and let's run this code now and you can see it, it prints in show clear now so if you are familiar with uh, Java versions, so we have different versions of Java, right? We have Java 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and list goes on. The current version of Java, while I'm making this video, is Java 1.8. And in Java 1.8, we have a very special feature. Now, just to demonstrate that feature, let me uh, do some, uh, let me explain you something about types of interfaces so basically we have three types of interfaces the first one of first type is called as marker interface uh, what is marker interface it's an interface without any methods it's a blank interface again what's the use of marker interface you can see in the next video uh, next we have is what you say single or in short is called as SAM which stands for single abstract method okay which is a uh, SAM in which you will be having only one method and then we have normal interface which is every interface is a normal interface right but what makes makes them special is if you have only one method it is called a SAM which is this interface here and if you don't have any method it will be called as marker interface but in Java 1.8 the SAM interface is also called as functional interface okay so this interface or the SAM interface is also called as functional interface in Java 1.8 now the advantage of Java 1.8 or the functional interface is just have a look at this code now now whenever I write ABC OBJ so for sure right hand side will be new ABC right let's let let me uh, give an example let's say I have a class called as A okay so my class name is a and if I ask you to create a instance of a what you will do you will say a obj equal to what of course you will say new a right because that's the that's very uh, common whenever you have a class name as a the constructor will be also a in the same way if we have an interface which is abc on the right hand side we will be having new abc 
right? So this code is what you say extra code, right? Now in the same way, what about this line public void show? When you have only one method in your interface, so for sure whatever you write here will be that show method. So from here to this point, everything from this point. From new ABC to public void show, everything is extra code or also called as boilerplate code, which is extra code, right? Let's remove this part. Now, since we are removing one uh, curly braces, we have to remove this one also. But we need to mention something called as bracket here. Okay, or let me just uh, do the undo. So we, we, we need this bracket. We don't require show because in case you might send some parameters. So we, we require these brackets. Now, we need to mention this code here belongs to a method, right? And that's why we have to use an arrow symbol. So this part here is called as lambda expression. So lambda expression was introduced in Java 1.8. Uh, so if you, are, if you, if you have 1.7 in your system, this code will not work. And even if, you don't, if you, even if you don't know this code, it's okay. Because most of the colleges, most of the companies, they are still working on 1.7. But maybe in next six months, everyone will shift to 1.8. So that's why it is important for you to know what is lambda expression. In fact, I have a different play playlist in my uh, tutorial for lambda expression. So you can just have, have a look there. Now, uh, now, the thing is, if you have only one block of statement, we don't require these curly brackets. We can remove these curly brackets, even we can remove the semicolon, and we can write everything in one line. Okay, and let me remove this extra part here. Okay, so you can see we are defining a whole interface. Let me just take it down so that you can see in one page. So we are creating an interface. We are creating the instance of interface and then we are calling the object or method. If you run this code now, okay, I entered a uh, let me run this. So you can see the output is in show and that's the power of uh, Java 8 which is functional interfaces. So I, I hope you got the idea. So that's how you need to use interfaces in Java. Uh, interface also external interface. So let's say you have uh, one more interface here which is interface uh, XYZ. Okay and this interface we can extend it with interface ABC. So whenever you have class to class, we use extends. Uh, we have class to interface, we use implements. And interface to interface, we use extends. If you have one more interface, let's say interface, interface, y, y, y. And you can even say comma, y, y, y. So interface actually supports multiple inheritance. Simple. So that's how we need to use interfaces in Java. So thanks for watching and do subscribe for further videos.